I'm Tommy Humphreys on behalf of Kitco and Cambridge House coming, coming at you live from the California Resource Investment Conference. I'm very pleased to be joined by Greg Weldon. Greg is a commodity trading advisor and also the author of Weldon Financial, a macro and, and a technical newsletter that you know, we're very pleased to have him here because he's the newsletter writer that all the newsletter writers and hedge fund managers read. And uh, anyway, Greg, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Tell me, what's your take on the markets right now? Where are we? What are you worried about? Well, I mean, this may be one of the most interesting times in our era, for sure. You know, since 2008, central banks have taken on the responsibility of ensuring that we don't enter a debt deflation. Uh, which would likely lead to an economic depression. So they've been very aggressive in adding liquidity when necessary to stave that kind of scenario off. Where we're at right here is, you know, the Fed has wound down QE2. Uh, the ECB has kind of picked up the torch. Uh, the problem I have with the ECB is it's a three-year term on their liquidity ad, which just pushes this problem down the road. So I fear that if central banks don't remain as aggressive as they have been, uh, that this could precipitate another crisis, in which case that would force them to act even more aggressively. Uh, end game net net is likely higher commodity prices, higher precious metals prices, uh, because ultimately central banks will be forced uh, to continue uh, to pump in money uh, at a very aggressive rate. I sat in on your talk yesterday and you said something like $97 trillion money supply and global sovereign debt and, and to put that into gold would be something like $19,000 yeah. an ounce. I, I don't think you see gold going that high, but I'm wondering what do you expect for gold? And, uh, well, I think that what that does is it gives you some mathematical, um, you know, a, a mathematical boundaries into which we could begin to carve our expectations. Um, if you were to take all the global you know, sovereign debt and all the global money supply of just the main industrialized countries, it's almost $100 trillion. That doesn't even include the off-balance obligations, uh, you know, spe specifically in the U.S., which are quite large. Uh, if you did that and you wanted to cover that with gold, if you wanted to go back to some kind of gold standard, uh, gold price would have to be around $20,000 an ounce. We are not saying that gold is going to $20,000 an ounce. We're merely uh, illustrating that the path of le least resistance is higher. And when they do print more money, it only adds to that total. And as it adds to that total, that increases the ceiling uh, for which prices could ultimately rise. I could say easily, if you wanted to cover 40% of the U.S., just the U.S. obligations, kind of take the dollar back to a pseudo gold standard, you'd be looking at least $2,400 in gold, likely um, closer to 3000 So that's kind of our long-term target. Uh, I like to say you're in a situation where you're not going to wake up one morning and gold's going to be down $100. You could easily wake up more, one morning and gold could be up $100. So the risk-reward ratio is skewed towards being bullish on the precious metals. Tell me why you're worried about Japan. Japan is going to be a real key in 2012. It's something that's not on everyone's radar screen because Europe and the U.S. have really kind of grabbed all the, all the headlines. But Japan has over $3 trillion worth of Japanese government bonds maturing this year alone. That's an enormous figure. And at a time when their current account balance has shrunk considerably because they've entered into a situation where their terms of trade have eroded so dramatically, where they're posting trade deficits now, that, that's almost unprecedented in the last three decades. This really crimps their ability to deal with this debt that's maturing. It's going to be up to the Bank of Japan to print more yen, to take down that debt, to circumvent a rise in interest rates in Japan. And as a net creditor nation, a rise in interest rates in Japan means a rise in interest rates globally. Global economy has not been fixed to the point where it's healthy enough to withstand higher interest rates. So this is potentially a problem. The Bank of Japan, the Japanese yen, uh, the JGB and the gold priced in Japanese yen are key indicators for me. These are key tells going forward as to how this is going to play out. So tell us a bit about your business and your newsletter. Well, we write the Money Monitor. It's our flagship product. It's global macro, top down, and we take it bottom up, you know, technical. So we kind of blend the fundamentals with the technicals to reach, you know, some conclusions on market sectors. We're bullish metals, we're bullish energy, or we're bearish stock indexes globally. Uh, we also do the Metal Monitor, which is gold and silver specific. It's an audio visual product where we go through charts and talk about the market. And we do in the ETF playbook, which covers the equity area in the ETF uh, universe. Uh, we also manage money. We have a we run a CT. Commodity Trading Advisory. We have two programs. One is our macro discretionary program where it is 
basically taking the themes, fitting them into the trading models and, and coming up with our, our strategies. And we also have what we call the Long Short Commodity Program. It's a non-leveraged uh, program that takes, uh, seeks to take advantage of both the up moves and the down moves in the commodity sector across the board of all commodity types from industrial and precious metals to energy to agricultural commodities. Uh, and as a non-leveraged program, we think that offers investors a real good opportunity to take advantage of the volatility. Because if there's one thing I can be certain about, it's that volatility is here to stay and will probably the amplitude of that volatility will likely increase in the near term and in the long term. And so to find out more, it's WeldonOnline.com? WeldonOnline.com. Any of your uh, listeners and anyone watching is uh, welcome to come and sign up for a free 30-day trial to all of our research products. I appreciate it. Greg Walden, thank you very much. On behalf of Kitco and Cambridge House, thanks for watching.